I basically come from a big dynasty of musicians, so I sort of tend to see life through, through the eyes of a, of a musician, you know. The untold story to me, I think, well, first, first on my priorities is I've got to mention my ancestors. Um, this instrument that I, that, I, that I play, it's called Ngora. It's a, it's a, it's a Khoisan mouth bow. It's my one link to, to, my, to my ancestors, you know. Um, that's, that's part of the story that is being ignored here, is the, is the, is the influence of the Khoi on the whole mindset of Cape Town, you know. That people don't want to acknowledge where they really come from. So the untold story, you've got to look, look past uh, colonialism and that to before the invaders came here. Indigenous Africans inhabited this fair land two or three million years ago, well before the invasion of foreigners. I think the story of the making of Cape Town is really the story of people who have lived here over the centuries. It goes back more or less 2,000 years to when uh, Khoi peoples came to the southwestern Cape, um, it seems originally from uh, northern Botswana. So long before European settlement, uh, there were Khoi people who lived here. When, when Van Riebeek and his bunch came over here, the pirates, when, when they came over here, they found, they found people chilling nicely, smoking, catching fish, just surviving on fruit and all that, and, and, they, and they just disturbed that whole balance, you know what I mean? Derogatory term, that coloured, you know, sort of a bastard type of thing. But they're not bastards, even though they're mixed with French or German or Dutch and things like that. And most of them here yeah, have got a lot of coloured blood in them, so-called coloured blood. But the coloured term was used to divide and rule. Of course, the origins of these people wasn't just confined to, to slave ancestors, to Khoi ancestors, there was also a question of sons, daughters, grandsons and daughters of European and slave um, marriages and uh, sexual encounters. So there was you know, obviously a very uh, complex uh, ingredient of this population who became known as, as coloured. <laughs> 